tutorial will dye cotton fabric with weld, also called Dyer's Weld, Dyer's Rocket, and Dyer's Weed. The yellow flowers and small green leaves produce beautiful shades of yellow. Weld is found throughout the Mediterranean, Europe, and North Africa, growing by the side of the road or railroad grades. I purchased a commercial weld extract from Maiwa in Canada. Extracts are concentrated, so require smaller amounts to dye. I used ground oak galls as the mordant, followed by an alum bath to act as a brightener. This approach takes several days, but yields brighter color. For this project, you'll need basic dye equipment and a well-ventilated workspace. You need 9 to 14 grams of powdered weld extract, WOF is 4 to 6 percent, 4 quarts of water plus more to cover fabric, 10 grams powdered oak gall nut, 10 grams alum, 15 grams soda ash, 3 pre-washed and scoured cotton dish towels, WOF is 231 grams. For safety, use a face mask when working with powders and rubber gloves when working with caustic soda ash. You also need a candy thermometer. The color is clearer if the temperature is kept at a simmer that does not exceed 180 degrees Fahrenheit or 82 degrees Celsius. For this project, I used instructions from the Handbook of Natural Plant Dyes by Sasha Durr. Day 1, soak fabric in water. Day 2, soak fabric in tannin from oak gall nut. Day 3, soak fabric in alum and soda ash. Day 4, dye fabric with weld extract. Day 5, rinse and air dry fabric. Let's get started. Soak the pre-washed and scoured fabric in hot water for at least an hour or overnight. This helps ensure the fiber soaks up the mordant or dye evenly. I purchased powdered gall nut to use as a mordant, also from Myra, since it is a clear tannin. You can also obtain yellow or red-brown tannins. A gall nut is produced by oak trees as a defense against parasitic wasps that deposit their eggs in small punctures they make on young branches. The tree excretes a tannin-rich substance that hardens and forms a gall nut. These nurseries are harvested, dried, and ground to a powder. Soak the fabric for 8 to 24 hours in a tannin bath of gall nut. The next day, my tannin liquid had turned olive green. This was unexpected and probably because my aluminum pot was stained from a previous project. To boost the color, I soaked the tannin-treated fabric in an alum and soda ash bath. Soda ash neutralizes the pH of the water, making it easier for dye to bond to fibers. Soak the fabric for 48 hours in the alum and soda ash bath. Finally, we can dye the fabric. After processing fabric with tannin and alum, add weld and wet dish towels to the pot, simmer for 30 to 45 minutes, remove from the heat and soak overnight, rinse until the water runs clear, wash in a neutral soap, rinse and hang to air dry. Add the water to the weld extract and stir until it forms a paste. Then add some boiling water and stir some more. The mixture emits a distinctive fragrance like an herbal tea. Add the weld extract mixture to the pot and stir to incorporate. Add the wet dish towels and additional water to cover and bring to a simmer. Let the pot simmer for 30 to 45 minutes, keeping the temperature under 180 degrees Fahrenheit. You can add a little cool water periodically to lower the temperature. Rotate fabric 90 degrees regularly. Turn off the heat and let the pan cool. Leave the dish towels in the dye bath until cool or overnight. Squeeze out excess dye from the dish towels into the dye bath. Rinse the dish towels in cool water until the water runs clear. Hang the towels to air dry. Later, run the towels through the washing machine, set to cold and without soap, to make sure that the dye has set and air dry again. Preserve the dye in glass jars to reuse in future projects. You can also preserve the tannin and alum baths for reuse, but I like to water my acid-loving plants with it.